What's up, peoples? This is Demi God Achilles. So, oh, I found out this secret. Basically, those TVs that we saw earlier, and where was it? Maintenance? Or the TV with the furnace or the fire. We're supposed to throw them in the furnace, which was in the video that y'all didn't get to see because there wasn't any audio. So I just kind of skip shot showed it. Let me pull up the guide for that so I can get that because that, I mean, I already found one, so I already know about the secret. So let me, and I want to explore the game. Look, just don't at me, all right? This is what I want. Okay, so apparently the first TV is somewhere around here. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, it should be right over here. Really? Y'all really adamant. Okay. Here it is. Oh my gosh, this is going to be tedious. I'll I'll get to y'all when I get there. Okay, I was gonna say there was one uh, here, but um, you know, you obviously see it now. Right down there. So now it should be. Uh, wait, did I just mess that up? It should be. I thought there was a section it falls down. Oh, hey. I threw it down there, and I wasn't supposed to throw it down there, apparently. Let's try to restart this whole location, if possible. That's it's no normal piece of paper. Wait, what is this? Is that supposed to happen? What's up? It's gonna come here. Oh, okay, this is a part of that one. Maybe we should go ahead and do it. We're in the middle of something. We could always come back. Hopefully the other TVs didn't respawn. Easy way to check. And they respawned. Come on, you can make it. Yes. An executive, uh, nope, we're not gonna worry about it. We're busy. Hey, come with me. Okay, there is that hole that I could get into, and I kind of don't. Oh, it's just a shortcut. Okay. Oh, this is how we get up. Okay. Yes, oh, we got it. Eternal fire. Reloads ammo on hit. So every time I hit an enemy with grip, then I will get that bullet back. And that is gonna help us later in the game. There's actually one more TV. I'll show y'all that and then we could get to the main story. Here it is. So don't know what's up with this TV, but it is always white. And if I try to go near the door, it will disappear. I don't know why that gave me- oh man, that gave me goosebumps. What are we on? I want to do this real quick and then we'll- we'll start up a mission. And it should be right down the hall. Oop.
No survivors. Communi this is communications. Unless I'm too high? No. Oh, you're kidding. Okay, yeah, let's do the, the prime candidate program. Get the freak out of here. Give me my freaking rewards. Without getting hit, kill his snipers in containment using shat. Do I need an absolute? But absolute is the best one. That kind of sucks. Without getting hit and abilities. I'm going to get ground pound and then we're going to focus on levitate because once we get to that plant area, I am not going to want to touch those things. Now where the freak do we go? Oh, isn't that ironic? Containment. Where is it? Up here. There it is. Okay, that's cool. Yup, hidden room. Can't find your office, watch your step. Oh, hey. That's, that's black. Are you, is there something coming out of your mouth? Oh, there's the document, okay. What does it say? The Tennyson Report. Let me go ahead and summarize this for you. So basically this dude is saying that it's bad to put terms on things that we don't understand as if we actually understand them basically kind of like the conspiracy theorist uh and the government same deal there's a control point there for sure yeah you know it's me i i forgot how many dead bodies are here six yeah just checking in uh jesse faden Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, that that scared the mess out of me. <laughs> yeah, never role play in a hostile zone, kids. Prime candidate program. Find new prime candidates. The bureau needs a director. Our future. P6 and P7. P6 and P7. P wasn't he P seven or six? What's up with it? What about some? Whoa! You know how I hate kamikazes. And this is not helping my... I guess you call it a phobia. Thank goodness for that. No more respawns. Oh, I guess it doesn't work on shields. Oh, hey. really coming after me what is that on your back disgusting I just want the document Alice Wake here's so this is definitely related Alice Wake Mr. Wake's wife was found during the bureau investigation she was in interviewed and evaluated she showed signs of severe mental trauma in the form of blank memory loss she was later directed to treatment. It was concluded that she had been trapped in the threshold during its manifestation. Notable individuals still missing from the Bright Falls event are FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale and Dr. Emil Hartman. Bureau researchers believe this event was the result of a forceful perception of a subjective reality stemming from Mr. Wake, overlapping with our own. 
Wake has been flagged as a potential paratilitarian. See the prime candidate program file. Okay, that's cool. In 2011, a book by Clay Stewart titled The Alan Wake Files was published by Roundabout Press, New York and Olympia. Agents interviewed Clay Stewart and suspected minor paratilitarian sensitivity. He was placed under indefinite surveillance. A monitoring station was established at Cauldron Lake to alert the Bureau of any future activity. I hope they tie that in with Alan Wake 2 because I still haven't played it. But with playing this one, we're definitely going to get to that one. Based on the secrets that I saw, pay attention to the ceilings if you ever play this game. Because there, once you get levitate, a lot of things open up. P7. Okay, I'm pretty sure my brother was P6. Okay, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Or was he P8? Maybe I don't maybe I don't know anything. Oh, these are small rooms. Okay. I can see you're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Some brains can talk to each other. We what? call this ESP. ESP? Some brains can lift objects like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> so who cares if you fail your clairvoyance? No Once we oh. know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> Is that supposed to represent Jesse? Now that I think about it, because they're both redheads. What if I don't want the big chair? Yeah, that's Jesse. What if I don't want the big chair? Everyone wants the big chair, right? Oh my gosh. That's why we're all here. I wonder if that Use mask on the skeleton. For once, or the only chair you'll get is the one with straps. Oh my gosh, is that a threat? That's a threat. Because if you don't join, yeah, they they'll take you out. Well or something oh hey document oh another bright falls an unconfirmed threshold manifestation at cauldron lake wa washington resulted in a fictional story written by the author alan wake creating an awe in which the reality was altered to match that of the story though only locally and for a limited time mr kirkland head of investigations was alerted on september 13 2010 by ex-bureau agent frank breaker Breaker received a phone call from Barry Wheeler, Alan Wake's literary agent, on behalf of Brake's daughter Sarah, who is the current sheriff of Bright Falls. A bureau field team arrived at the site two days later, only to confirm that the event was over. Interviews were conducted. Refer to Thomas Zane, I remember that. Otison Anderson and Tora Anderson, which were the ordered twins, the rock twins. Alan Wake was believed to blank instigator. Eyewitness reports highlight an old light switch, possibly object of power that blank missing. Wake was not found at the scene. Reports claim he dived into the lake, but nobody was recovered in the search. Did they make the correlation that it might be the same light switch as the one we have? Or I don't know if they duplicate or anything. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. Wishing won't change things. Finding the projector will. Ordinary. There's so much coming together in this one case. And the boy, Dylan Faden. Prime candidate six. Okay, he was six. And sister as well. Yep. Once we catch up with her, but the, the I'm guessing that would be seven. So much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name. I heard Northmore was the first one. Completely different circumstances here. First director. It's remarkable. I'll probably get to that secret that later. Was an incident. Yes. Nobody died. It was Dylan's fault, wasn't it? We lost a valuable member of our team. Yes. Oh. Excess force. Dylan has so much, but he's he's just a kid. I, I'll take the blame. He, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He just said, no, uh-uh, no, no. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. 
It's an unfortunate accident, that's all. You're about to be the next accident saying boys will be boys. Marshall needs to realize this. Marshall. Security. We'll make this work. Yeah, but you still got to take precautions regardless. Mm, so apparently he was angry here. Um, he basically told somebody to F off and he didn't care about somebody, which I presume was me and someone else who I don't know. Agent killed during... That was Roberts. It's basically an injury list. After examination, it was determined the cause of death was internal bleeding that occurred when the blank was contorted through his... Okay. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. Okay. Well, they did find me, so why didn't they make contact with me? Oh, candidate P7. So, I'll, yeah, I would have been P7. I didn't even know where that outfit was, but that was also another secret I heard about. All the times I felt paranoid. Oh, I she was right. It. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. Exactly. Like, why didn't they... Movement tracking. Oh my gosh. They, they was tracking me across states. Earlier, it seemed like they were looking for me to get me to join. But now it's just like... I don't know. It's like different people had different motives. All the time. Me and Dylan. And other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember, was different. We found a way in deeper into it like it had shifted we went inside and that's where we found the slide projector deeper in where a dump is a place for lost things okay things that have been thrown away did you ever feel that way when you were growing up jesse what no yes but that has nothing to do with was there a slide projector at your home when you were small N no <laughs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your mm. family did look at photos together, maybe. They're not that old. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed You're you? You're asking too many questions. Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? She no. has a that's just stupid. Come on. That has nothing to do with this. Nothing. The slide projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world. She said that at the beginning of the game. Adventure there, away from your parents. I don't... Poster. I don't think so. I don't remember. Right. They studied what happened in Ordinary here. Yeah, That's Ordinary the place to start looking. They have a whole sector to Ordinary. Hey. Whoa. Of course, I don't trust it. Dylan and I were both prime candidates. Yeah. Experiments. Very different ones, sure, but both in a cell of some sort. Alan would have been one too. Am I out of the cell now, or is all is the house this the cell. house and being the director? Just another cell. I think if you don't want it, it's another cell. This is reminding me of uh, Last of Us Part 2. Hey! I could have took him over. Yeah, Eternal Fire is definitely clutch. And a 
way forward. We're going back home. Oh. Of course we are. It started there, and it's never gone away. Oh yeah. Come on. There we go. That was a little tough. This was also a secret location. But what is it about? Type written page. This is probably the Alan Wake one I was talking about. The page was discovered in an instance of the Ocean View Motel and Casino that was linked to the investigation sector. The page has been pushed into the motel's corridor from under the door with the symbol of a spiral. For 10 years, I've tried to write my escape, only seeing deeper. This is Alan Wake. I used I used to know where fiction ends and reality begins. Here they are all the same. It's a hideous trap. My every thought made real. Fear, desire. How can I ever know for sure I've escaped and not just lost in my own fantasy of it? That thought alone can drive you mad. The identifiable words in the scratched out portion. Uh, falls, bright falls, haunting, wake, Alan Wake, light, switch, ocean too late and final sentence you've been warned i would guess it would be an object of power the object of power would be the typewriter right oh that uses all your okay i didn't know that there's like... gotta be a way to rotate these tracks oh heck no nah. maybe there's a control panel nearby here rotate open the door Something's blocking it. You know, it's, they do such a good job with like environment because it's still ominous. No, 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 no. No. Oh, you're stuck. I know you're right here. sweating through that whole portion golly weird enough i don't like horror but i like thriller i love thriller i love suspense please don't throw me in that sequence again that took all my health immediately look here for a minute there Power. Okay. So, uh, search for the slide projector object to power. Okay, so, hey. Okay, 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 okay. No! I wasn't panicking. I'm mannequin. Basically says the airplane in the corridor right there was brought in to be inspected. I think that might be the airplane that the guy had to take apart, or maybe it's not, because I can't remember if it was in that room I just didn't trust him I'm I know he wasn't attacking nobody but I did not trust him okay oh ordinary AWE the first light was a room of a dirty wallpaper with the dirt <laughs> dirty wallpaper and dolls on the shelf there were a lot of dolls the house was empty no one lived there we played in there a lot 
It was our secret playhouse, Jesse Faden, therapy session. She went to therapy for this? Did they believe her? I went to school with Neil. Some kids called him Nosebleed Neil, likely Neil Hosenberg, missing. Oh my gosh, it was mean. He had asthma. Tom, most likely Tom Arlo, missing. And his gang, Freddie, likely Fred Frederick Bartwell, Hugo. No one by this name was found in public records, bullied him. Bully Freddie or Tom? Oh no, Neil. We brought Neil to the dump to play. I'm guessing unconfirmed existence of additional slide. Designation house. I'm guessing Neil did not make it back alive. You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 years, shining a light in the shadows. There are a lot of voices. Ordinary, it's a town. And it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they said, but that's bullshit. Whoa, please watch the language caller at maybe 2 a.m. But we're still on the show. Uh, I'm sorry. They said the town was destroyed, but it wasn't. I went there. The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. The same thing happened in Brazil in 23. The government said they were fleeing guerrilla forces, but we know the truth. A mass abduction. As predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Wade. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. I wonder if the person that had that show was in on it so that they could research AWEs, because that would be a smart play. And then they kind of cover it up at the same time. An AWE occurred in the town of Ordinary caused by object of power slide projector ID OOP15 discovered by local children at a dump outside of town when a specific set of slides are used in a projector the projected image images open doorways to other dimensions multiple slides were used by the children resulting in the disappearance of the town's adult population on August 30th 2002 Siblings Dylan Faden, 10 years old, CP6 materials, and Jesse Faden, 11 years old, CP7, were playing at the local dump when they found the discarded slide projectors. A team led by director Trench O oh, and Dr. Darling arrived at the site on September 14th. The AWE had ended, but the team found the Faden children who led them to the slide projector and the slides, which had been burned with the exception of one. Jesse escaped when agents attempted to detain the pair. In total, 17 surviving individuals were found in the town. All of them were brought in for questioning and testing. See interviews blank and prime candidate program files. Okay, so they led him to the projector, but then when whenever it was like, hey, we're, we're going to have to detain you, she dipped and Dylan, I get, guess, still got caught. Like, he didn't run fast enough. They probably burned him because they... Because of what happened. I mean, yeah, it's a freaking scary thing. It could be fascinating in the right context, but in the wrong one, it's terrible. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. So, clearly, humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a... A map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life. Culture, urban legends. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions, or die trying. I'm interested. I'm so interested. Jesse and me followed the dung monkeys to the cave. There was a lot of them. More of the children, more of the kids from town had joined up. It was really scary. Jesse grabbed the projector and we ran as fast as we could. They chased us. I fell and hurt my knee. Jesse tried to help me, but the dung monkeys were coming. I'm guessing that was the gang of the kids that were like bullies. They were just about to get us, but then Neil showed up. Neil looked like a dog. <laughs> 
like a melted dog melted but i knew it was him neil said a lot of times he didn't like being a boy because tom just beat him up i think he liked being a dog the projector wouldn't turn off so we changed the slide to the hand i heard her immediately she promised to help jesse this must be polaris jesse said we should call her polaris done is because she was doing stars at school she was doing stars at school additional slide designation hand is verified in bureau of possession unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity designation dog neil why let's go ahead and yeah switch to it oh hey you know, give me that file because we need artists after what happened at school to miss chester we started spying on tom and saw where they took the projector so they stole it tom and his troglodytes ooh, were using the sled hill cave as their headquarters that's where the projector was they had been using the temple slide we called it that but really it was a broken concrete thing like a warehouse or a bomb shelter or something very dark the not mother lived there with her babies children i don't know she was feeding tom and the others her milk what they were changing into little monsters we call them dung monkeys the not mother lived there what so they met a paranatural entity and they drank her milk and yeah they drank her milk and they turned into freaking demons it's just weird this is all types of flambuki of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carla Vaughn. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. Casper Darling, got you. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Roberts. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. Well, will you tell him? In a single word, Describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. Not even a poster on the wall. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. What? The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Yeah. Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. Or something like a dog. What day Wait. is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Hey, hey! hey are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need it's t Two things, like... We're social creatures. Humans need social interaction, actual social interaction. That was not social. And she was asking questions he couldn't answer, which doesn't make sense. And she kept asking. Like, they're just so systematic. You gotta have some personality, dude. You're causing your own problems by not caring. The second slot was called the meadow, but it was really an empty lot with a bunch of weeds. There was a shack and a phone line. It smelled like flowers there. It was powerful, intoxicating. We had crazy dreams there. That, those were probably drugs, like paranatural drugs. It must have been because of the smell. I didn't like it. Didn't like losing control. Makes sense. In dreams, everything was melting, and then when we, we'd come out, everything had 
melted around the projector. Hmm. Neil was really into it. We found out he'd been coming there more and more on his own. Then Tom beat the secret out of Neil and found the projector. He and his goons took it. We thought Neil had got lost inside the meadow when Tom changed the slide, but that's not what happened. So did Neil die? We need more notes. I'm so invested Let's right now. They have on ordinary. Maybe I'm gonna start reading all the notes. Oh no no no! I so thought it. Here, our home, our school, the woods, scare me for a sec. The dump. I don't want to destroy the model, but we're probably gonna have to destroy the model. Ground Zero, that's what it is. There's an X here. Maybe it happened here. No, the dump. Yeah, because these hills could represent the dump. Uh, I don't like that. Don't do that. Don't just pop in like that. Yeah. At least I got to see it beforehand. the shadow you settle for there's a miracle illuminated i looked the poem up only i couldn't find any poet by that name i did find a european filmmaker who moved here in the 60s named thomas Sane. what i don't know matter you've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing yeah, yeah um it's this your brother i feel in emptiness, a yearning for something that I think I lost. The fascination it's when you came here. For you to feel that way, your brother and your parents are dead. No. Oh, okay. You didn't. You didn't no. have to just. Dylan's not dead. And Dylan's that's not definitely it. not. You were referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood, Polaris. What? She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In. A dream I saw, she, she showed me things, Jesse. And they know she's here. Anything, as real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown? It wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident, and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No! It was a cover-up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. They took Dylan. They... I'll find them. I won't stop looking. They were looking for me. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something... Something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse. You know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. So were they trying to keep her away? But why? Because they said she was a prime candidate. Are we going to run into a boss or something? Ordinary town dump. We are going to fight here. They moved the whole landfill here in the middle of new york and nobody saw a thing pretty unbelievable secrets man there's so many documents holy crap i believe um faking your death is illegal i read that because one time I, I was just curious oh well in this yo what you gonna do i'm upstairs shoot me Shoot me! Hey, hey! I know we got one more. Hey! We should check that lab. A 
effective immediately. Okay. I'm setting up a new department, dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. I remember. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to, I, I don't know when. What did you find out? What happened? Took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. Yeah. That's where we go next. That's gonna make it for this video. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. I'd appreciate that. It definitely helps support the channel. If you want to keep up with the series, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and check out the playlist down in the description to check the other episodes if you haven't. Click that bell if you want to stay notified. But I'll see y'all next time. Peace.